So hello and welcome to South Hills Community Wellness. My name is Jacqueline Battaglia and Laura Vlasic. <laughs> so we were developed because we felt like there needed to be a place that people could go to learn, connect, and collaborate on a variety of personal development, health, and wellness topics. For those of you who are new, welcome. Our goal and mission is to help our members gain access to the knowledge from people in our own community to create balance in their lives. Our disclaimer is that we have a mutual agreement between our speakers and our members that these workshops are strictly to share knowledge, value, and connect with like-minded people. South Hills Community Wellness does not agree or disagree with the content presented, nor are we promoting a service or a product. These Zoom conferences will be recorded. Therefore, if you'd like to remain anonymous, you have the option to disconnect your camera on the control panel by your name. These presentations are meant to be interactive, so please, you know, ask your questions, share your ideas, um, and any suggestions are encouraged. We want to thank you for being with us tonight. We know how valuable your time is. Tonight, we are pleased to welcome Marianne Brown. Marianne is the natural side of wellness, drawing from more than 30 years of continuing education and 30 years of work experience as a healthcare professional. Empowering people is her passion because she understands firsthand the impact that physical and emotional trauma can have on one's life and well-being. So welcome, Marianne. Hi. Hi Marianne. <laughs> well, thank you, um, Jackie and Lara, for having me on in, in this community. It's a great community, and I am so grateful that you created it um, for everybody to share their information. Um, and I'm so excited to present this workshop today. And um, like she said, I'm Marianne Brown, and I help people get rid of their back pain so they can move with ease and actively enjoy their career and their family life. So on this workshop, you're going to learn three secrets about back pain that your doctor won't tell you. I'm going to go over the alignment of the body, how the muscles have memory, and how the mind-body connection actually contributes to our pain in our bodies. I'm going to share with you everything I can in this time we have together, and some of you are gonna to wanna to go deeper. If that's you, don't worry. I'll give you some more resources and steps you can take at the end. So a little bit more about me. I'm a pain release practitioner and a natural health advocate. I worked in the healthcare profession for over 30 years as a physical therapist assistant, a certified personal trainer, and um, a certified Pilates instructor and a certified emotional mentor. I personally, understand firsthand the impact that physical and emotional trauma can have on one's life. My journey began in 1998 when I was healing myself from an injury that extended from my upper back all the way to my lower back while I was lifting patients at work. Mm -hmm. I was on and off workman's compensation for five years. And then, my emotional journey started in 2005. I developed breast cancer and I lost my mother. In 2006, my father passed away. So chemo and surgeries were tearing my body apart physically and the losses of my parents were pulling me apart emotionally. So that's when I really sought help for myself and I was introduced to many different healing modalities and natural tools, and my life completely changed. So through my own healing journey of many ailments, ones I spoke of, and many others I have not, I restored my mind, body, and soul by empowering a wide range of natural healing techniques and modalities. And so in 2006, a natural side of wellness was brought to life. Today, I am so grateful for all of my journey because I can empower people to be happy and to know that no matter what they're going through in their life, 
they can completely get through it. So I'm going to share my screen and um, I'm going to have you guys do some stuff here. Um, Okay, so this is um, a pain, stress, and anxiety assessment thing. Um, so you can rate, go through your body, and you can rate your pain level, zero, no pain, 10 meaning the highest pain. And then you can go through and rate your stress, strain or tension resulting from adverse circumstances. We're doing that a lot right now in this time of of um, you know this pandemic, and then rate your anxiety level, worry, concern, or fear. And then um, we'll go back to that a little later. So three secrets about back pain. So alignment. Do you ever have pain or stiffness when you stand from a chair or when getting out of bed? Have you ever just had pain appear somewhere in your body then maybe go away? That all is a part of alignment. So memory, do you ever remember a trauma to your body? Do you remember an incident, an accident that happened to a part of your body? Do you have a discomfort in your body that always flares up? That's the memory. So the mind-body connection, do you ever have tension from stress? Have stomach problems when stressed? Have a headache when stress occurs. So um, I'm gonna, so we're gonna do another exercise. And you can see this is all proper um, body alignment and how your ears match up with your hips and then with your ankle bone to the side. So everybody is gonna stand up. And you're just gonna stand up like you normally would, just stand there. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna assess where your body is at. So are your feet far apart? Is the weight of your body on one, more, on one foot more than the other foot? Is the weight of your body on your toes or on your heels? Is your pelvis tucked in? Like are your knees locked or are they um, bending backwards or are they a little bit bent? Where are your hands at in, a, in, a, um, in comparison to where your hips are? Where do you feel your shoulders? Are they bending forwards? Are your shoulders rounded forwards? Is your weight um, is your back, does your back have tension? Is your chin up high? You know, so just kind of go through your body and see where your body is at right now. All right, so you can open your eyes. And now what we're going to do is you're going to stand and you're going to put your heels together and your feet are going to go into like a V. And then you're just going to separate your heels. So this is actually where your feet should be placed underneath your hips. Yeah, most people have a white stance or a very narrow stance. But this is exactly where your feet should be right in line with your hips and your body and everything. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to find your pubic bone and you're going to put your pubic bone over the arch of your foot. The arch of your foot is about right where the bone is on your ankle. It's a little bit forward to that. And then you're gonna take your diaphragm and you're gonna take your diaphragm and put it over your pubic bone. Right? 
And then you're going to take your collarbone and you're going to take your collarbone and put it over your diaphragm. And then you're going to make sure that your chin is level. And then you're going to take your ears and put it right in line with your shoulders. So the ears should be right at your shoulders. So now you're going to put your hands right in line with your hips. Uh, so now you're going to go back through your body. <laughs> and how does that feel on your body? Does anybody want to tell me how it feels on their body? Raise your hand. Yeah, just unmute yourself. Who would like to say something? Would Linda like to say something? And I was supposed to have back surgery and it hurts me just to stand right now. Okay. I'm so glad you did this. I oh, did you stand know? right. I leaned forward. Right, so did it change? So after we did that exercise, did it change your back pain? It hurt a lot more because I'm so used to leaning forward. Uh -huh. no, so it's gonna take a while for me to get my body used to doing the right thing. Yes, that's right. Because it's constantly, it has to shift back. Yeah, I mean, was. The other thing is I have large uh, breasts and I was always yelled at. I, I always had to hunch over because dad would yell at me. <laughs> so I got, I got used to trying to hide them. And when you have good okay. posture, they stick out more. Well, that's okay. If you yeah, have them, you have them, he's, right? He's, He's gone now, so I, I won't be getting out of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, very good. So I, does anybody else have anything to say? Go ahead. I was, I noticed I was standing on my, the first time on my left foot more. It was really, mm -hmm. you know, and once I changed it, and that's where my left, my pain is in my lower back on that left side. So just standing up and, going through that, it made a difference. And then I felt even. Wow, like, isn't that amazing wow. at how things like that pain can just change like that, that quickly yeah. in your body, yeah. either get higher or lower, right? You know, well, very cool. So um, the next thing we're gonna do So this is the different alignments. Um, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna introduce you to Bojangles. Hi, bud. <laughs> uh, let's see. So um, this is my little skeleton guy here that can you see him okay? Yes. So when this is proper alignment. So when we're out of alignment, pardon me? So when we're out of alignment, so if our one hip is higher, or if we are more on one foot than the others, do you see how the body actually has to shift and adjust to maintain balance so that we're not falling over. So the body works in cross patterns. If this shoulder is high, this shoulder has to go lower. Then if this shoulder is lower, this hip is going to go higher. So if this shoulder is higher, then this hip is going to be higher. So you can imagine then if this shoulder's high, right? You can see how this shoulder blade is here and it's all attached to your vertebrae. It's gonna pull everything up. And then it's gonna attach to your neck. It's gonna put your neck vertebrae all out of alignment. And it's gonna twist your, your vertebrae here. And they actually twist. 
because you have muscles all attached all the way down and so they actually twist and um one muscle then gets shorter right and one muscle gets longer and then the head starts tilting and and then the jaw so you can imagine then the jaw gets out of the line too oh see this one moves <laughs> <laughs> Just with looking at that, the other thing that people don't realize is that when you're walking with your feet out to the sides, right, look at what the knees have to do. The knees roll in. And then look at what happens to the hips. These hip bones then turn in. So then that's going to affect the pelvis. And it's going to be a trickle up. And so that's just our feet. So can you imagine what's going on with the rest of our body when we're just walking with our feet out? Some people just walk with one foot out. And then this gets all twisted in through here. So then this pelvis is going to be all twisted and lopsided and everything. It's, it's pretty crazy at what we do to our body and we don't even realize what's happening. It makes sense though when you see it like that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, so here is another way of looking at it also. You know, your hip gets contracted. Your hip muscles have pain. You, your hip is raised, it throws your level off. One person is always having one short leg and one long leg. And then these muscles in through this hip actually have to stretch. And that's where you get your hip pain from and your knee pain from because everything is stretching where everything is tight because this is shortened. So different pulls and strains on muscles affect the, de the degree of discomfort. If a muscle is already at its full length, then, um, you know, an instant injury is going to occur. So you can imagine when you have a, your back muscle is long and curved like this, right? How many of us have that posture? Maybe not to that degree. <laughs> I recognize that. <laughs> but look at the way the spine goes with that forward head. Look at that curve here. All of these muscles are really long. Back muscles are supposed to be these back muscles right here has a natural curve to it. And they are supposed to be short. And so then whenever you go to bend over, look at what happens. These muscles are already at a disadvantage. And then that's when people have pulled muscles and they pull their muscles out and their vertebrae go out. And then these muscles are really, really tight in through here. So everything, like if one muscle is long, then the other side has to be short. So if one side is, is long, then this has to be short. So, you know, really go through your, your body and see what's happening with the tightness and the looseness and where one is tight and one is um, loose. And then this is the one where the foot is turned out, the knee has to turn in, and everything is rotated. And then these muscles all up and through here all get pulled. And then you get your bursitis. And then you get your disc pain because all of these are pulling your back out of alignment. You can see this curve. Yeah. Through there. 
So, um, so muscles also have filaments. So the muscles work like this when they're contracting. When one muscle is pulled the wrong way, then it kind of has a challenge, right? It's pulling and the muscles aren't working properly. So the way the muscle works is that the initiation of the muscle contraction is through sodium and calcium ions. And that's what helps the muscles to fire. So these ions are actually crystals. So when the muscle, when the filaments get stuck together, then the crystals get lodged in these muscles. And have you ever felt a knot in your muscle? And that crystal, it feels kind of like crystally, or you feel something crystally. That's those ions getting caught in that muscle. And so the same thing happens within the joint. When we're stagnant, right? Then these ions just stay there and they collect and they collect in the joints. So movement is really, really important to help the body just to function battle better and to get these ions out of your body. Because you can see if you've got crystals, that's what happens with bone spurs. That's how bone spurs are created, is from the um, crystals backing up and the body feels that and the, and the muscle or tendon rubbing on the bone and then the body says, oh, there's something wrong here, and it starts trying to correct it, and then it puts more calcium in that, and it creates a bone spur. And so um, detoxing, really, it helps to get rid of that, um, those crystals when we, when we detox. It, um, detoxes actually help for your joints also. So um, the other thing is, you know, when we feel pain, our body says something's bad, something's wrong, right? But meanwhile, pain is just an awareness that your body's saying, hey, there's something here. What's going on? Look at me. You know, am I out of alignment? Am I sitting crooked? Does, is the stress bothering me? And so whenever you have pain and we constantly focus on that pain, then the body goes into that, that fight or flight system where it's gonna try to run and then it starts worrying. And then the pain gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, step back for a minute and say, hey, body, okay, you know, what's going on here? Exactly. And um, actually examine and, and look at what's happening in that body then. So um, the next thing we're gonna go to is memory. So, all muscles have a memory and they all have their own job to do. So when one muscle is shortened, the other is lengthened. The body works in cross patterns, as I said before, and the body and the mind remembers this crooked alignment. And when we sit like this the whole time, then the body shifts, the ribs shift. And so then the body remembers that. And when we stand up, that's kind of how our body is then. And so I've seen a lot of people actually walk through, like move with their head, right? Move with their upper body. They're not actually using their lower body or their legs to actually walk with because um, we have so many imbalances that the brain says to the body, move, and the body just tries to move. So 
when we're all shifted like that for a long period of time, the body remembers that. And so many times with my clients, I hear, you know, when I put them back into alignment, I feel crooked. Well, yes, because <laughs> Glenn's over here laughing because I do that to him all the time. Um, and so it takes a while for, to create a new memory with the muscles, right? And then, yes, you know, and it like, I had my, my back problem for five years. I went um, to a therapist who rehabbed with Pilates and it took me eight months to get out of pain. And that was with constant exercise, constant awareness of how I was walking, how I was moving, what I was doing. Because whenever I first went to her, my, my spine was an S. That's how bad my muscle imbalances were. And, you know, after learning all of that about my body and the exercises to do, I've never had back pain since. Because oh. I'm aware now of what's happening in my body. And when I have pain, oh, what is this? Oh, do I need to get straight again? Right? You know, do I have to get back into my alignment again? So when we have these blockages in our body and these tight muscles and stuck muscles, it creates limitations and it stops the flow of our lives, right? It creates stagnancy because we don't want to get off the couch. We don't want to, we don't want to move. Our brains get too tight, right? From, oh, just not wanting to move. And all of that tension creates. So, you know, the tension in our, in our scalp, it creates confusion and it creates headaches. So, That's you know, exactly. our bodies <laughs> really want to be pure wellness. And to move through your life with ease, it's important to know what is happening in, in our bodies and where stuff is out of line and the muscles, you know, have the memory. So when one muscle is doing a job of another muscle, then you can imagine if you're going to be a stuntman, right, in a film, and you've never done it before, whew, what's that, right? And you're just going to do it no matter how you can do it whether it's right or wrong or good or bad, right? You're just gonna do it. And so this is what your body does. You know, the, the body is basically the powerhouse. It has all of our organs. It has the heart, it has the vibration. It has the electrical impulses, it has the movement. And the brain is just like a computer. It just does what we ask it to do. Right? And so, you know, when we ask, when our brain saying body move, our body's just gonna move, no matter what. You know, the body can't question it. It's just gonna do whatever we ask it to do. <laughs> so, um, so the next thing we'll do then is go towards the next one, which is the mind-body connection. Oh, wait, I have something else to tell you. So I have, <laughs> I have a, a situation. So I had a client. This is really cool. I had a client, and I was personal training her, and she had left foot pain. She, um, we would do exercises. She would still have this foot pain. She would lay in bed have the foot pain, she went to the chiropractor, he worked on her ankle, na 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 na, still had the foot pain, right? So one day in our session, she's like, yeah, my, my shoulders hiked and everything. And so I did this alignment exercise with her, I put her on the floor, and we really worked on getting her body back in total alignment. Well, guess what? Her left foot pain went away. And we discovered 
that the right shoulder hiking put the stress through her spine and through her entire back, creating this foot pain. So she had a huge awareness and she's, when she had the foot pain, oh, my shoulders hiked. I got to put my shoulder down. And guess what? The foot pain completely went away. <laughs> so when we go into a panic, oh no, I have pain, right? Hmm, I wonder what is out of alignment. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. That was, that was crazy. Um, but so our mind-body connection, many, many, many times in my career and now in my practice, I hear, I never knew I was crooked, right? People don't know where they are, where their body's at in space. And, you know, with the mind-body connection, how many times have you had a thought that created tightness in your body, that created a stomach ache, created a headache? Our bodies are the real working force behind our mind. And the body listens to and reacts to our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So the other thing is when we have this tightness in our body, right? You think about it. Tightness creates tension. And then the tension causes restriction, which shuts off the oxygen supply to the muscle, which then limits movement and causes pain. So it's really important to know what our thoughts are and to pay attention to our thoughts. You know, so the mind-body connection is not automatic. It starts with an experience and grows with intention. A person must want to grow, decide to grow, and make an effort to grow and be present within the body. Through all of my experiences that I've had with my body, if I did not create that presence and actually want to heal and move forward, then I would have never done that. I would be on a cane or whatever and not living my life very happily. So, the other thing that happens, you know, is that our awareness of past experiences and thoughts create disease in our body. How many times do you remember a past experience and you connect it to a now experience? Your back hurts when you bend over. Your mind goes back to an incident when you fell down the steps. Your mind then relates this new experience to the old experience and it creates an attachment it creates even more pain then because you remember that trauma in your body and in your brain and you go back to that experience. So um, I was in a car accident a very long time ago and I couldn't turn my head to the left. And the doctors had told me that I had a bone spur they had taken x-rays and the bone spur showed up and everything. And I'm like, okay, you know, fine. I just lived with it for a while. And then whenever I got into these modalities, um, this one spiritual person taught me an exercise and I use it all the time. So let's go through it a little bit. So if you remember a trauma that you had in your body, and if it is creating pain now, remember that pain. Get that pain in your body. So mine was a whiplash from the car accident. So I went back to that whiplash, right? And so now you're going to create a cord. You're actually going to attach a cord from that pain 
back to that incident, back to that past trauma experience. And then you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut that cord and you're going to watch it go away. And then you're going to say, return to from whence you came. Never return to me again. So now we're going to do this again. We're going to do this three times. So you're going to take, you're going to remember that incident. You're going to take that cord. You're going to attach it to that pain and back to that incident. And then you're going to take your scissors. You're going to cut that cord. And you're going to watch that fly away. And then you're going to say, return to, to from whence you came never to return to me again. And again, you're going to take that cord, you're going to attach it to the neck or wherever your pain is, and that car, that accident, that incident, and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut that cord and you're going to watch it go away. And you're going to say, return to from when she came never to return to me again. So now check back in with your body and move your body. Did the pain go away? Did it change? So just give me a little feedback. Who wants yeah. to say something? Yes, I mean, yes, I'm shocked. <laughs> and I, I know it'll, it is, the more I do it, the more it'll, yeah, this might take me a while, but I, I really like that. Yeah, because all of these emotions, all of these traumas get locked in our body. Yep. Hey, Marianne, put that, put that saying in the comments whenever we're done. Okay, I can do that. All day and all my different pains. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try another one, okay? Um, so you're going to get another pain, right? Or a stress or whatever you feel in your body. Okay, you got it? So now we're gonna just take a couple breaths in through your nose. You're gonna inhale in through your nose and just let it back out. You're gonna inhale through your nose, nice deep breath, and then you're gonna exhale it out. So on this third one, you're gonna inhale and you're gonna inhale and take that breath to wherever that pain is, wherever that stress is, wherever that anxiety is. And you're gonna let that breath expand it out. So that disease in your body is gonna get bigger. The breath is going to expand it. It's gonna get bigger. The breath is gonna get bigger and it's going to expand it out. Expand, 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 expand. There you go, that's it. Awesome. So now you're going to breathe in again and you're going to exhale that discomfort, that anxiety, that stress, that pain out of your body. Nice. So, how did you feel? <laughs> I felt a little snap in my spine because I am extremely tight, mm -hmm. you know, and even the muscle relaxers are not really helping. Um, but yeah, I, I do think that, that the stress I won't go into it, but it's just been basically my whole life and I'm very sensitive. So I hold on to the feelings mm -hmm. and try to protect 
myself so I don't get hurt, you know, then I'm ready. You know, I'm in the fight and flight situation all the time. Right. But, and then car accident just, you know, exasperated that. So I can see what you're saying that I felt a snap just from breathing in the back of my neck where I have migraines constantly oh, from car migraines now. Well, it's, it just shifted. Something shifted. Yeah. And um, it, it's in my jaw, everything. For me, I grind my teeth. You know, it's, I got, you know, the normal stuff from holding too much in. This might actually be the key for me to get ready if I end up do having to have surgery that they scheduled. Maybe I won't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. But imagine. I love this. These are yeah. these are these instructions going to be in the comments so that I don't forget, or should I? I've been ta I've been taking screenshots of your messages. Oh, very cool. <laughs> I can send you the um you know the presentation, also. Um, but yeah. Anybody else? Do you know what's funny? I had like my crowns redone um, like in the summer and I had like the worst pain and I could not for the life of me figure out and that had ca that caused stress and anxiety not knowing but like something as small as like the dentist just shaving a little bit of my tooth off to make like that little miss like caused so much I, I don't know if you would say trauma but like I mean, yeah. worrying, like just, it was so, like just the littlest, tiniest thing can cause your body so much discomfort. And it's, yes. it's amazing. It is. And you know, you asked, what is this? Right? And then you got an awareness and you got help for it. So, you know, after many, many, many years of working with people, I needed to make a greater difference in the world. You know, uh, where I was working, I, I couldn't really make that great of a difference with the people that I was working with. Right. And so I quit, that's, so I quit my job of uh, more than 30 years and I created a program called Align and Pain Free. And so, you know, it's a mind body realignment program that promotes holistic wellness. This program ut utilizes personal training techniques, anti-inflammatory, nutritional education, and emotionally, emotional rebalancing to manage the energy of our body and effectively reduce pain or eliminate pain without drugs or side effects. And um, so, I asked, you know, what could I do to help? And I had an idea and I came up with a free natural pain, um, pain solution starter kit. The breathing technique and the cord cutting technique is in here. Um, you know, the seven steps to quickly check your alignment to remove pain. And there's a diagnostic quiz to assess pain, um, where you're holding the pain, where the root cause of your pain is coming from, the current impact stress is having on your body, and the current impact anxiety is having upon your body too. And so there's a free consultation um, to discuss your assessment and customize a plan for you. Um, whenever you're ready to do that. And this is the contact information and I can put that underneath the Zoom also um, in the, um, you know, email me, you can message me um, on Facebook or whatever and I can get those kits out to everybody and, exp and have those, um, little techniques, you know, it's not, um, 
they're small techniques, right? And yet they're, you know, they do a lot to our bodies. So anybody have anything to say? Any questions? I I have a question and then I'll shut up. <laughs> um, my, um, I broke my hip when I was nine riding and uh that was during the growth period so i always did have one leg that and you know i i'm i have ADD, so i'm like busy anyway i'm just very this this situation i'm in now um i've never been fat i've never had the this kind of thing where i just want to lay down most of the time because it hurts to move but then the other thing i do is i sit um uh like indian style all the time now is that good or bad for my back so if you think about sitting indian style what's happening to your hips what's happening to your pelvis when you sit like that these bones right here are uh -huh. actually being together and it's collapsing onto your spine Okay. So you can see how these will move and um, get tighter through here. Yeah. So it's that's really better. That's where I had my first back surgery, L4 and L5. So it's really better to just sit in a straight back chair okay. with your knees aligned. You know, I did the Facebook Live earlier. Um, you know, I use a lot of balls because mm -hmm. um, they're cushy and they're fun you know you can just bounce with it and um, I, have. I love the movement the vibration of the body just to do that um it just like kind of settles your body in whenever it has the vibration going through it uh -huh. just press them just gently on that ball okay excellent advice thank you i just wondered because recently i started having pain in my knee which i never had before Ever. Yeah, and it, so, that's you know. what I was thinking. I might be pulling it. Okay, I'll shut up and listen to everybody else. <laughs> you that's a big question. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Yeah, no. Mary Ann. So uh in the uh, alignment, when you had us get aligned, um, I realized that I my weight was a little bit forward and um I was pretty fit i'm getting pretty sluggish now in the uh in the COVID days over here <laughs> this is terrible um but yeah i noticed my shoulders uh which i've always had good posture but i noticed my shoulders came forward a little bit so i gotta i gotta do something about it yeah Curious. so i mean it it's an activity that you can do every day mm -hmm. right you know mm -hmm. think about the string pulling up right. from the crown of your head Mm -hmm. to get your posture to get that spine elongated you know this arm i'm holding my cell phone in this hand all the time now and i'm like oh my gosh my hand my you know arm just hurts and um the elbow's getting tight you know but it's an awareness so you stretch it out you use mm -hmm. the other hand um mm -hmm. you know to do different things with and you just really work on moving Something that was I really big too. Oh, oh. <laughs> my apologies. No, go, you go. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say um, with the alignment of the uh, the hips mm -hmm. and like the, uh, the 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 the, the tailbone. What was it? Was it the tailbone? Uh huh. Aligning it with the ankles. Yes. And like that sort of put the rest of my upper body in place, and I was like, whoa, I, this is not the typical way that I stand. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another big awareness there. Yeah, so, you know, and you know how to tighten your stomach, right? Support your core. Jackie? No, I was just going to say with the cell phone, like, I'd noticed, too, like, last week, just, like, well, with everything that was going on, I was on my phone more, I think, because everything was new. And then, like, some of the posts are really funny. So I was, like, really on my phone, which was bad. But I noticed, like, 
just, I was so tight, like my whole right side. And I don't know, I just thought that was significant. Like I'm wondering if more people are showing these same symptoms. Like I was Googling that, like, and there really had, I couldn't find much on the effects of like texting or like that. I mean, I'm sure it's out there. I didn't really look that deeply into it, but I mean, I noticed it like, you know, even three days of doing that. Well, but now you, then, you can see, you can see the alignment, mm -hmm. right? You're, you're like this. Yep. So do the opposite movement, right? We need to extend. We need to expand and stretch it out. That's what my husband does. He sits like on the chair, like, and just leans back. And that's so, like, so healthy yeah. for him. Yeah, that's exactly what I do with the ball, right? Okay. That I was showing you. You know, put the ball behind your back and you can stretch and extend. Do the opposite movement of what you're doing. So even whenever you're going out to work in the yard, right? You're all bent over. You're bent over at your computer, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, get an awareness. Um, do the opposite movement. Mm -hmm. And um, whenever you're working out in the yard, take time to bend backwards. And that way you put your back muscles in a relaxed position. Yeah. Anybody else? I just found no? it very helpful because just becoming aware. Mm -hmm. Even though maybe we knew that, you forget. Were you taught that? I mean, you were taught that to a degree, but it's just like with anything. It's, it's said constantly, but we don't have an understanding of what's happening. And I think you really hit the nail on the head with that one. Like sometimes, like I wrote down, like sometimes you just need to like know why or how. And it is that understanding that sometimes makes all the difference. Cause I think so often we do like attach with the past and that just becomes so ingrained in who we are that sometimes when you could just like understand how or why that it just makes all the difference in the whole world with anything. And so that's, I wrote that down, just like knowing why, you know, and, and really educating yourself on these things and not, and not accepting them like as being normal. And I think that we do that so often. Um, so I agree. Yeah. Looking for the root yes. instead of just dealing with the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes yeah. sense. Yes. You gotta get to the root of the problem, otherwise just just gonna keep coming up. Keep coming up. Thank you. Um, in case I don't get a chance to tell you uh, at the end, but thank you You're so much. Welcome, Linda. I'm glad that I could be, you know, of help. It, this is huge. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, and thank you, Jackie, for. <laughs> you know, having us all be present here. Of course, and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's it. Anybody else? Um, I see a chat. Okay. <laughs> Ian was just thanking everybody. I think he had a hop off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope everybody has a great night. Okay. And um, I will get that um, starter kit out in the Facebook group, right? Yes. And if you could post all your information in there, and then that way I can get this video on, you know, I think we're streaming live on Facebook now, but I'll also put it on our YouTube page. So that way anybody can go back and refer to your presentation. Okay. Um, Laura, anything, what else is anything else? I don't think so. Just thank everybody for coming. Thank okay, you so much. Thank you. Again. And, you know, look forward to meeting up with you again about this. And um, just want to say tomorrow, too, we start our book club. And um, next week we have Marty doing Transcendental Meditation. I just messaged him. But thank you so much, Marianne. That was very mm -hmm. helpful. Yes. Thank you. Very much.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yay. Okay. We'll talk soon. Thank Come you. Come back again if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Thank you. Thank you.